I'm going to show you guys a little something I do to clean up things. See these screws are all like pretty worn out and they don't look all that great. So what I'll do is I'll take them, I'll run them into a piece of cardboard here and then um, I'll try and kind of clean them up and then I'll hit them with a coat of spray paint. So this is for the MFJ antenna tuner. So this one here. I have not been like absolutely nice with this. I've been kind of rough with it. I wonder if this thing says the date on it. 2007 they've been making this thing. I didn't buy it in 2007. There's another date on it somewhere here. It's interesting. When we look in here we see... They've published the values of the uh, capacitors, but I don't think they do here. Interesting. So, anyway, we're going to paint these, then we'll get this thing put back together. So I'll kind of come in and sand them a little bit, just to smooth them out, especially if they get like screwdriver marks and things like that on them. And then when it comes to painting them, I prefer to use just some cheap flat black. Uh, I usually get it from like Home Depot or Walmart. Because uh, when the flat black finally decides to dry, you know, it's, it's going to be, first of all, it sticks a little better. Um, but also... It's just not going to look as uh, obnoxious, okay? If you paint this with glossy paint, it'll tend to stick out a lot more. What I actually like is um, Krylon used to make this stuff. This, I think it was called Fusion or something. Uh, it was kind of a matte black. It was semi-glossy, but not quite. And um, was good stuff. But, uh, yeah, this is just, I leave it set for a while. It's nice and warm in here, so, you know, it'll dry good and just put it out of the way. And just, uh, Home Depot, flat black, cheapest crap you can find. 